the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers the mathematics project of uh, the international council for education of people with visual impairment and uh, the nippon foundation is an attempt to popularize mathematics education for visually impaired children uh, mathematics is important for visually impaired children for uh, two primary reasons one is with the more children getting into the mainstream education mathematics cannot be avoided they have to learn mathematics as a part of the school curriculum and secondly uh, there are more careers which are demanding a knowledge in mathematics the origin of the project uh, goes back to 2004 when uh, Mr. Larry Campbell, who was the president of ICBI, was also looking after the, uh, the international program of uh, the Overbrook School for the Blind. Uh, when we conducted a survey on the status of mathematics in the East Asia region, we found uh, some uh, truths. Uh, firstly, mathematics at that time was largely neglected for children with visual impairment and they were given uh, subjects uh, in lieu of mathematics to pass uh, the school education and secondly we observed that there are teachers who know the subject of mathematics but unfortunately many of them they were not knowing the methods of adapting the techniques to teach visually impaired children because mathematics is largely a visual concept and how to convert the visual concept into a non-visual experience for visually impaired children that was an area that required attention and uh, another thing that we noticed uh, the fear of learning mathematical braille codes you know large numbers of mathematical braille codes that was a fear among the teachers and that prevented them to teach mathematics to visually impaired children so in most cases you know the teachers were memorizing the mathematical codes instead of using logic so this was another area uh, that we noticed that required our attention and uh, in uh, most cases the teachers were depending mostly on the visual cues in teaching mathematics and even with uh, non-disabled children and sighted children the tactile abilities were not used to the optimum level whereas in the case of visually impaired children the tactile abilities had to be used to teach uh, concepts in mathematics so we wanted to focus on the use of tactile materials particularly the paper folding etc uh, that will not only help visually impaired children that will help all children too so use of tactile abilities for learning mathematics was another area of our uh, focus in popularizing mathematics so we conducted uh, a, a couple of workshops and then uh, listed uh, the mathematical concepts that are followed in the school curriculum irrespective of where the person is studying the mathematical concepts will not change so instead of taking a particular textbook of a particular country and uh, trying to use the adaptation techniques we thought of taking the mathematical concepts from uh, different disciplines of mathematics like uh, geometry algebra trigonometry calculus etc and trying to develop uh, the instructional materials on how to teach mathematics uh, to all children including visually impaired children so what we did uh, we took uh, every concept and try to explain the concept and also try to um, explain the adaptations that are necessary for example when we use an algebraic equation which is written on the board in the visual form how to convert that algebraic equation from visual form to tactile form through different teaching aids and also through oral instruction 
this type of explanation uh, was attempted for each concept and uh, finally after two years of uh, work uh, with the teachers and other teacher educators in the East Asia region the ICVI and the ONNET program of the Overbrook School for the Blind brought together a publication called Mathematics Made Easy for Blind Children. Uh, this is available on the website of ICVI and it's widely circulated. We are happy that this book has been translated into different languages. Uh, the first chapter is talking about the methodology of teaching mathematics and then one chapter is exclusively meant for teaching of abacus and one for mathematical braille codes and one for creative mathematics that is using uh, uh, paper folding techniques to teach mathematical concepts the one very important chapter is the fourth chapter it is on the instructional materials there uh, we have selected about 500 uh, plus mathematical concepts uh, found in the school curriculum in the school curriculum means uh, we uh, focused on the primary level secondary level and senior secondary level now what we have attempted here is to prepare the videos for each concept why videos when there is a book now with the publication of these materials we received many requests from uh, the teachers and uh, other uh, teacher training institutions in different countries that ICBI should organize master uh, level training programs well we do not have a lot of resource persons uh, you know to offer this kind of face-to-face -face, uh, training uh, program so we thought in the world of uh, using technology why don't we prepare uh, uh, modules short videos explaining the mathematical concepts uh, that can be used uh, in various uh, countries uh, to teach uh, mathematics you know primarily this can be used in the teacher training programs in the inclusive education programs in the special schools uh, even by parents our aim is to come up with about 150 videos by the end of uh, 2020 and uh, based on the responses we want to prepare more videos in the years to come now looking at the videos we are taking each concept and uh, the video is presented uh, for a duration of five to eight minutes and uh, some videos depending on the topic it goes up to 10 minutes too but our purpose is to keep it short and uh, secondly we are repeating the instructions wherever necessary so that uh, every teacher can uh, follow these videos are meant for teachers who are teaching mathematics even without a mathematics degree and uh, wherever necessary you know the instruction is given very slowly in a slow faced manner so that everybody can understand so when you look at the video sometimes the instructions are repeated and sometimes the pace of the video is slow all these things are deliberate and another reason why we present the videos like this uh, when uh, we prepared a number of uh, videos at the piloting phase which we did in south africa and in many countries in east asia and also in india we found that uh, uh, the materials are not only helping uh, the teachers but the audio instruction that we provided explaining the video material that was very useful for visually impaired children in many cases they understood uh, and they started using uh, paper folding techniques to demonstrate some some of the concepts so that is why we are attempting in the video presentation as a multi-purpose uh, teaching material for both the teachers and visually impaired uh, persons so with this purpose only this video materials are uh, presented and uh, we are very happy uh, that uh, the nippon foundation has come forward to support uh, this uh, project and uh, we thank uh, uh, many people who are involved with this uh, uh, mathematics project uh, uh, to come to reality